One, two, one, two. We live, we live, we live right now. Yep. I still got it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, right? I think so. Good morning, everybody. It is March 21st, uh, 2024, Thursday, early, 438, 440 in the morning. Did my workout already. That went well. And then made me a cup of coffee, the Honduras. And we're going to talk. I don't know about what. But things are looking pretty good right now. Uh, Amazon front, nothing on Amazon front. I will send an email to my representative about that. See where we're at with the variations. Last time I checked, which was a couple of days ago, I think one of the variations was correct. The other two that I gave her or nothing's happened with those yet. So that's fine. It is what it is. We'll make it work. I've, for the most part, am done with my next weekly YouTube video. I uh, got the framework of it. I It's down to like 15 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that. We are going to practice. We may use this clip on my intro for my uh for my uh YouTube video cuz you know you got to hook people <laughs> you got to get people interested you got to see if they can watch the whole thing all the way through and it can't be stagnant and boring and all that good stuff which is it's a lot harder than you think once you do it for a couple of times this is my since the beginning of the year 12th video Four, eight, twelve, twelve, thirteen video. And like I said, YouTube is no joke. I commend everybody who does YouTube, who's trying YouTube, who's quit YouTube. It is it is not easy and that's what it is, right? So what are we gonna talk about today? Let's talk about YouTube again. I tried this marketing thingy to essentially get rid of my coffee, my Kenyan coffee, and it worked. People were just going crazy with it, and we got a lot of orders. So we will be roasting uh, this weekend in order to fulfill those orders. I didn't know what I was going to do if, if anybody ordered internationally, but luckily enough, everybody was from the States. I even got some people from Houston, which is great. That's where I'm located. If I, if you don't know already, Missouri city, Texas slash Pearland in Houston. So yeah, raised, but not born. <laughs> So, yeah, it was interesting. A lot of people, some people took advantage of the situation. Some of them just ordered one coffee, but we'll see. We'll make it work for everybody. And we'll go from there. That's just the way I think that I'm going to go about it, you know. And like I said, I'm, right now I am drinking the Honduras coffee. It is what it is, really. It's okay in its present state the way it is i mean yes coffee does lose its spaz from time to time right but this coffee's not an easy one to really get through or or to understand or to or to really get right if that makes sense um we're going to be drinking this throughout. So as it cools, it's going to change. But let's see how my perspective changes. But I did a YouTube video yesterday and 
and went fine. Everything is still a work in progress. I'll get better as I keep doing this. And I'm looking forward to what what comes of this, right? So, yeah. So I think that's the way I'm going to be rolling with all of this. So let's go ahead, move my mouth, drink some water. We're going to be reading this. And the beauty about reading my my script is that I don't have to like say it straight through. I can like put it together, pause it, clip it, and do all that stuff. That's one thing I've noticed with video recording and everything, the way you go about it. So yeah, I know you hear those sounds, but I think it'll come out really well when I uh, do this. Uh, do this reading. Yeah. Too much, too much. Let's just talk right now. I did have a topic. I was going to talk about it. It's talking about target market, and I think it's women. But uh, we will talk about that later, I guess, so to speak. Because this week's just been busy. I did two podcasts on Sunday, morning and afternoon. I think they went really well. And then... During the week, I was quite busy trying to think about something to to record for the weekend, you know. <clears throat> and the week has just been a blur, kind of. Every day I've been trying to think about ideas and concepts and all that good stuff. But I think we'll work it out as much as we can, as we see fit. And then once that goes and happens... We're going to be in a good light with all this stuff, right? I know it sounds like I'm just rambling. Which is true. Um, is this it? Yeah, let's... Okay. Show that. There we go. So we got to get signed back in to our Shopify and then kind of get an idea with the orders and game plan from there and see what I need to order. I mean, uh, roast. So I think it's a lot of medium roasts, a lot of, uh, a lot of light roasts. There are some dark roasts in there too. So I probably don't have to go too crazy with the amount of dark roast offerings I do need to work on. And I'll make a tally and all that good stuff and then go from there and see what I need to do. It's going to be three to four ounces of samples that I will give to people. And I'm thinking about more so giving everybody a sample of each. You know, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, be interesting to see if we can get some testimonials and all that. But I did get a lot of emails and all that. So I'm just trying to adjust my face so I won't click or slurp or anything when I'm reading this. <coughs> Probably should be off-centered a little bit. So let me, there we go. Testing, testing, one, two. I think it's pretty good. I'm actually off-centered, which is kind of weird. But I will go ahead and see how well it works. It should work fine. So I'm going to try the one, two, three, four, I have four paragraphs. So here we go. Every morning is a new beginning marked by rituals that ground us. My day starts with energy, working out, reflecting in my journal and contemplating the day ahead. Amid the familiar rush, there's a moment of calm as I savor my morning coffee. A simple pleasure that feels like a warm welcome to the day. I always lean towards a classic coffee flavor. Rich chocolatey with a hint of nuttiness. It's the kind of taste that feels like home. 
perfect for every morning. And there's the Honduras coffee. It's a brew that stands out with lively hints of orange and nuanced chocolate undertones, leaving a refreshing lemony note as the temperature dips. It's the kind of coffee that turns an ordinary afternoon into an occasion, not meant for the daily grind, but savored in those rare, quiet moments. Sure, it's a superb coffee, contributing its distinctive character to my espresso blend, yet its lore lies not in routine, but in rarity. A special guest in the carousel of our coffee experience. Reserved for times when ordinary simply won't do. And yet, as much as I appreciate this coffee, it's time to kill it from my offerings. See, see, I kind of like pause right there. Last paragraph, but it's OK. I can get it back. Watch this. And yet, as much as I appreciate this coffee, it's time to kill it from my offerings. What the fuck? Let me explain. There we go. I'm going to say that one more time to see if it's better the second time. And yet, as much as I appreciate this coffee, it's time to kill it from my offerings. What the fuck? Let me explain. There we go. And then I will use the beep and the uh, software and all that to go ahead and make it more emphasized. And uh, I think that's a pretty good run of it. You know, I may just do it one more time just to see how it sounds on here. Then I'll take this clip. Uh, I'll take I'll do the raw version and then I'll do a, a uh, when did this happen? This happened about 12, 11, 10 to 11 minute mark so I can go back and listen to it. So I'm going to run through it one more time. And as I sip this under his coffee, it's getting better. It is getting better. It's still more acidic than sweet. And that's the thing that I believe this coffee is missing. The sweetness. The sweetness. The balance. That's what is missing. Like I said, it's perfect in the afternoon because you're not expecting that type of coffee and all that good stuff. So. And then once we get that going, we'll we'll see what else we need to talk about coffee wise. <laughs> That's why I just ramble a lot of times, you know, because I can only talk about coffee for so long. I love it. It's cool. Everything's great. But I think that's one of the reasons why I gravitated to uh, podcasting or learning new things. It's because it's very important for me to not get bored. So so that's why I gravitate to just trying so many things. And that's why I like experimenting and i think that does help and with me in general especially in this coffee game because i come with it of course with a different perspective you know so there we go i think that's kind of like where we're at with this and we'll go from there so let's let's see if we can do this again okay it's about the 14 minute mark i'll jot that down every morning is a new beginning marked by rituals that ground us. My day starts with energy, working out, reflecting in my journal, and contemplating the day ahead. Amid the familiar rush, there's a moment of calm as I savor my morning coffee, a simple pleasure that feels like a warm welcome to the day. I always lean towards a classic coffee flavor, rich, chocolatey, with a hint of nuttiness. It's the kind of taste that feels like home, perfect for every morning. And there's the Honduras coffee. It's a brew that stands out with lively hints of orange and nuanced chocolate undertones, leaving a refreshingly lemony note as temperature dips. It's the kind of coffee that turns an ordinary afternoon into an occasion, not meant for the daily grind, but savored in those rare quiet moments. Sure, it's a superb coffee, contributing its distinctive character to my espresso blend. Yet, 
Its allure lies not in routine, but in rarity. A special guest in the carousel of our coffee experience. Reserved for times when ordinary simply won't do. And yet, as much as I appreciate this coffee, it's time to kill it from my offerings. What the fuck? Let me explain. And yet, as much as I appreciate this coffee, it's time to kill it from my offerings. What the fuck? Let me explain. That's pretty good. We'll see which one's better. One versus one, you know, and all that good stuff. So we shall see how that works. As I sit here. Let me take this picture. And we'll see how that works. There we go. Took the picture. That's a good picture to take. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So what else I got planned? I may start roasting today. We'll see. I guess I need to tally. Kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. Roast the coffees. Get them ready. And then figure out shipping logistics and all that good stuff. Playing around with Shopify. Um... Seeing how I can get these coffees out. Uh, the weight is the biggest thing, really. I need to be able to get these coffees out to people and it not cost me so much money. I'm thinking it'll probably cost me about six, seven bucks an order. And then there are some Houston folks, so I will more than likely uh, see if I can deliver those in the afternoons when I can, when it makes sense. So like I said, this is going to be a lot of fun, just figuring out logistics and playing around with things and then going from there, seeing what people see or taste and all that good stuff. But yeah, I think I think that's what I'm up to. I don't have much to talk about now. But we're going to finish this coffee. We're going to talk about this coffee. And once it's done, then we're going to be done, right? <laughs> I wish the coffee got sweeter. It's not sweet at all. It is not sweet at all. And I think. I think that's a problem. If that makes sense. I wish this coffee was sweeter. That's the only thing it's really lacking. The acidity is there. It's orangey. And it's the weirdest thing. Think about it. This is the weirdest thing about this coffee. Is like, I mean, yes, I'm sure that you have tasted orange before. But usually orange has sweetness around it, even when it's a shitty orange. That that. It still has some type of form of sweetness on it. And. This one does not have it, and that's the interesting thing about this. This orange flavor is elusive, right? It truly really is. It is, uh, you know how sometimes when you drink something or when you experience something, you always wonder how you can actually isolate those flavor notes. And a lot of times you really can't. And yes, I'm sure different brews and different techniques will bring out the nuances of this coffee, right? And that's the cool thing. Um, Giving people these coffees, letting them taste it. I think that's going to be very telling. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then kind of get an idea of how people brew, because that's the beauty of it. This is the way I actually brew. But getting other people's opinions and ways to go about it. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's going to be where the magic is. Of understanding the way people tackle the coffee, right? So, but yeah, this this coffee in general right now is that it doesn't have that sweetness. And like I said, orange. If you had to select the acidity kind of level that you're trying to go for with coffee. 
especially when you're talking about the big three to me, the big three or the more pronounced acidity, the more casual ones or apple, peaches, pomegranate, granite. But the big three, you know, the big three, orange, lemon, grapefruit. And to me, in this order is orange on a sweetness to acidity level. It's orange, lemon, no, orange, grapefruit, and then lemon. And yeah, so it's it's interesting kind of like playing around with this stuff and and getting a hold on what is important, what isn't. But in this coffee, in this case, you just get the orange taste. You don't get no sweetness at all. And that's the interesting thing about that. And it's not to me a good thing, but it's really cool that it's actually being isolated to where you just get orangey type of taste of coffee or orangey taste that comes out of this coffee and there's no sweetness. So. It probably could be in the brew the way I brew it. I tend to do a one to 15 ratio. So something like that. Hmm. Yeah. It just doesn't do it for me right now. It just doesn't. But that's fine. We'll roast it back. <laughs> roast it slow. And we'll go from there. And we'll see. We'll play around with it again. See if we can roast it really slow. And then get it. Get it at a uh, even kill. And see if we can bring the sweetness out that way in a darker roast. That will be a lot of fun, I think. So that's what we will play around with. That's what we'll do. And those are the things that I'm looking forward to trying, relaxing, and trying, relaxing. Doesn't make sense. I'm just rambling right now. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here, like I said, uh, do a quick podcast and then really get back on it. Like I said, I've been quite, kind of busy trying to figure things out and I know the weekend's going to get crazier my son wants to do a couple of things which will be cool looking forward to that I gotta think of one thing I think he wants to do two or three things and him and I just chilling out that's going to be a lot of fun but yeah so that's what I got planned this is what we're going to be doing a lot of good fun and I will talk to you soon but the next topics are going to be a big heat Here's some of the topics I'm thinking about talking about. Bitterness, sourness, of course that. Oh, what's this one? All beans taste the same, right? I'm talking about uh, like normal beans, not coffee beans. <laughs> everyday beans. We're not. We're talking about non-everyday beans, regular beans. And how that plays a part in something. We'll talk about that. I think there's something there. And that's just food in general. But you're always going to have to put some salt on it. Things and all that good stuff. And then another one is our women. My actual clients. We'll see. V60 overview. Mr. Coffee overview. We're going to talk about it in the podcast. And then we're going to... uh do a video about that and I think that would be kind of cool as we go about this this game of life and all that good stuff so yeah that's what we got going okay so I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>